Okay, we're going to uh, cut up some lionfish. We caught them today. Um, no real way to tell if a fish is a male or a female, and I'm sure experts will be able to tell you. Um, this one's got something in his belly, but it may well be a female, so we may just see a lot of eggs. But uh, we'll have a look. I'll cut one open. Watch me do that. And. Uh, Let's we'll see what we got. Well, this great big thing for a start is most of its gut. If you know anything about diving, this is like their BCD. Basically, uh, they put air in it and they're able to um, float around and be in the perfect, perfect buoyancy. So we'll pop that, and it looks like most of it is that. Oh, uh, okay. So we'll get that out of the way. And then as far as his gut's concerned, really not a lot. There's such a big fish. That's its gut there. So we have this great big fish and this tiny little gut. And that's why they can actually uh, stretch their stomach up to 30 times if they want to. This one was obviously in need of a meal. I'm not sure what's in here. We'll have a look. One little fish. Tiny little thing. Are we going to get anything else? That, amazingly, was that. Better luck next time. So, since I last videoed, we have cut up another five pretty decent sized fish. And amazingly, this one was the, from the first one. This one came out three and a bit in one, and two had nothing at all. Now the last one, which was one of the, probably the smaller one of the lot, has definitely got something in, so we're gonna have a look. Whether we can identify anything. There is definitely something in here. It's a much bigger gut, much more expanded. And just wash that off, see what we can find. Definitely a, some kind of fish in. And again, it's weird, his head's gone. This one. Again. A very, very, very small amount of gut content for five fish plus two more I've got in the cooler. Okay, we just cut this one open. And a few little bits came out. And this is the rest of the gut now. It's definitely the biggest fish of the lot we've seen, but still a very, very small fish. I've never noticed before, but most of them, their heads have disappeared. Otherwise, a few bones in there. Oh, fish that size. Very small amount. So this is one of the smaller ones of what we've cut up. But it most definitely is a female. If we look here, these are the eggs that came out. Two egg sacs that potentially have up to 15,000 eggs per sack 
as 15,000 per sack, so 30,000 every four days. Obviously they don't always do that, but that's there. And then this is her gut. Let's see if there's anything in here. Tiny little fish. Okay, this is the last one. Little fish just popped out. A little bit of fish. Anything else? There really is nothing in there. They either had a really nice meal recently and digested it all, or these guys were a little bit hungry. They can survive for three months without a meal. They just lose 10% of their body. And uh, I guess that's, maybe some of these were really, really hungry because that's not a lot of food. <laughs> okay, we've been diving again today. We went to our favorite dive site, Julie's Wall, to the shallows here on uh, Grand Cayman. And we caught 36 linefish. And I've cut out three so far, two more to go. They're all pretty good size. Um, the first one had nothing in it. And the second one had this tiny little fish here in it. So we're not sure whether these guys and girls are feeding uh, at dusk. And then by the time we get to them, by 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock the next day, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, whether it's all gone through their system. But the last one, I have got something in the gut, definitely. So I'm going to cuddle this horrible gumby stuff off. Get rid of that. And then here, we'll see what comes out. What fish is that? What we have found is their heads, parts of their body, their flesh seems to stay there, but the rest of it seems to decompose. It's broken down. So. so he had two fish. And it looks the same sort, but. Yeah, it looks the same as the other one. Same as the other one. Kind of a Ugh. greyish tinge, but again, head's gone. In the gastric juices or whatever they got in there. Okay, so let me cut up the other two. Okay, we've got two more we've cut up. Uh, one had absolutely nothing inside it. And the other one was a female. So we've actually got some eggs. So two egg sacks that we saved from escaping into the ocean. And again this one actually appears to have something in its gut. So I'll just get rid of that. It's horrible stuff. fish so I'm going to feel something here. There's one little fish. There's two more. Tiny little one. There's another one. And another one. And a bigger one. That's about it. There you go.